I'm here in the tropical wetlands at Cambridge University Botanic Garden. I'm Emily, I'm one of the trainees and I'm standing in this pond because this is where we would usually have Victoria cruziana, which is one of our most impressive and beautiful plants that we have here. We're a little bit later this year, so hopefully in a few weeks we'll be planting it out and it'll be starting to unfurl and show how impressive it really is. The Victoria cruziana, or as it's commonly known, the Victoria lily, is a really impressive plant not just because it's really interesting to cultivate, but to me, it also has a really interesting story. It's from subtropical South America, um, and Victoria was referring to the fact that it was named after Queen Victoria, and it was very popular in the Victorian era. It was cultivated at Kew, and it was one of those plants that everyone just really loved. The Victoria lily flowers in the summer, and we get to start our traineeship in September, which means that one of the first jobs that any trainee gets to be involved with it is in collecting seeds, um, which are in these bags and you dig them out from the bottom of the pond. It's pretty exciting, it's kind of like a hunt, uh, and there is definitely a level of pride as to who can find the bag with the most seeds inside. After we've counted all of our seeds, they're logged onto the database and whoever actually fertilised the flower, their name is kept forever in the history of that plant because they'll always be known as the person who fertilised it. After we've collected the seeds and we've made sure that they're all viable, they're kept in water because if they weren't then they would never germinate. They need to be in water and they need to be in a low oxygen environment in order to germinate. Um, so I've got some here that have actually started germinating but another trainee would have nicked them in about February where you sort of pop out a little bit of the shell and that makes them permeable to water and it starts the whole process. So here you can see they've sent out their first seed leaf and at this stage it's actually fused so it just looks almost like a piece of grass. Um, so this is the first of three leaves that it will have. So first it has this fused one uh, which doesn't look particularly impressive, but it's pretty exciting when you see it happening because you know that something good's going on. Um, and then from there, we keep them in water the whole time and they'll be in some water that's sort of gently moving. Um, and so here, we've got one that's sort of got the next stage and this one has a leaf that looks a little bit like an arrow, uh, but it's not the leaf that will float on the surface. So this is kind of the precursor and it sort of gets it going, so it's starting to make some food so that it's gonna have enough energy to send out its first true leaf. The next stage, after it's produced its first two sorts of leaves, so the one that's like grass and then the one that's like an arrow, is it starts to finally produce some roots, which is very exciting. So now we can actually prick it out and pot it on so it gets its first time in some soil I've got one here, which is the stage that we're currently at. This is actually one that I've taken out from the nursery pool that it's kept in, just so that we can show you here, but that's kept behind the scenes until they're ready to come out. It'll get potted on into larger and larger sized pots every two weeks until it's ready to come out here. And it'll be in a pot that's approximately 101 centimeter diameter by the time it's ready. Then it's ready to go into the pond behind me and then it's going to get really big. So here where the nymphaea is, is actually where our Victoria lily will be in the summer. And the summer is an exciting time because in late summer it will flower. And that means that we'll get to come in overnight, obviously supervised, to help pollinate the flower because one day, one evening, it's female and then the next it's male. So we have to intervene to help it be hand pollinated so that we can get seeds for the next year. One of the really lovely things about being a trainee here is that you get to not just work with iconic plants like the Victoria lily, but you also get to see the behind the scenes action of actually getting to make them flower and grow them on. And that's something really special that I just don't think you can get anywhere else.